Elon Musk in British corporate history. The BBC's Robert Pest now reports on the latest government attempt to cure a deepening crisis. The Treasury on October the 13th saved the banks from collapse, or at least two of them. Today, the same government team tried to save the economy with another massive package of taxpayer support for lending. But there appeared to be a resounding yarboo from the city because the share prices of most of the biggest banks plunged, with Royal Bank of Scotland falling by two-thirds. The Prime Minister put his finger on only part of the reason for Royal Bank's fall, its appalling results. I'm angry at the Royal Bank of Scotland and what happened. Almost all the losses are in the subprime market in America and related to the acquisition uh, of the bank uh, AMB Ambro. Uh, and these are irresponsible risks that were taken by a bank uh, with people's money in the United uh, Kingdom. So what's the great plan to restore banks' confidence and increase the supply of credit? Well, the big elements include a £50 billion fund backed by taxpayers which will be used by the Bank of England to buy up loans to companies to reduce the cost of funds for big business. There's also an estimated £100 billion of taxpayer guarantees to try to channel cash held by big investment funds into mortgages and other loans. But it's a plan to ensure the banks against losses on their dodgy loans that's most controversial. And what a turn up. Normally, we go to banks to buy insurance, but under the government's new scheme, they'll come to us, taxpayers, for cover to protect them from the full horror of loans and investments that go bad. So what's the value of loans that we'll be underwriting? How much will we be at risk? Well, the Treasury won't give a specific number, but it could run to hundreds of billions of pounds. I think we need a full independent audit of what is on the bank balance sheets. So we don't rely on the word of bank chief executives, we don't rely on the word of the Prime Minister, but the taxpayer is told the truth in an independent and authoritative way. So why is all our money needed to stimulate lending? Well, we're in a pretty deep recession. In fact, the European Commission today forecast that our economy would shrink by 2.8% this year, worse than the European average and worse than the Treasury expects. The prime cause of our recession is a shortage of credit and our woes will be all the worse if lending can't be revived. But why, therefore, has the Treasury's credit rescue plan so spooked investors? Why has Royal Bank's share price fallen from more than 600p in 2007 to just 12p today? Well, the fear of investors is that with taxpayers providing so much support to the banks, any spoils would go to the state in the form of fees and to UK households and companies in the form of lending mandated by the Treasury at uncommercial interest rates. So, to save the United Kingdom, shareholders reckon they'll get the slimmest possible returns for years to come. Robert Paston, BBC News.